All right, in a previous video, I promised I would show you how to power up your auto embeds using Scrapebox. Took me a while, but it's time to do it. So in this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Show you how to power up those embeds and get your YouTube videos to the top of the Google search results. So right now I'm just hitting C on all these to make sure I clear out all the settings. My proxies that I use, we'll start there. Storm proxies, I'll put a link to those in the description. Also link to a blog post that comprehensively covers all of the info I go over in this video. Yeah, storm proxies are what I recommend uh, to put them in. You just hit manage, load proxies, load from clipboard. And that's whenever you copy and paste. Loading from clipboard is the same as pasting. Uh, I think I have the 16 proxy package. I think you can run up to 80 threads at once. And then you can just text, test the proxies if you want. I've already handled all that. Um, I'll just go ahead and do it just, just for example's sake. Okay. That's the main thing you're looking for. Past the Google test you're not worried about because we're just, we're just posting blogs. We're not scraping Google. Uh, make sure you look what the proxies you buy are for. You want proxies that are for posting, not scraping. Scraping, if you use these proxies for scraping, they will ban you. So, you know, make sure you look at that. So that's good. Like I said, you run up to 80 threads. I go a lot lower than that. If you're in a hurry and you want to get your blog posts up quicker, that's how we're powering these up. I guess I should have started off by explaining that. We're, we're doing blog comments. That's how we're building backlinks to our M auto embeds to get them indexed. So we'll go to settings, connections, timeouts, and other settings. Um, you know, this all depends on proxy manager, proxy harvester. Um, none of this stuff is really important. Poster, that's what you want to do. Now my proxies will go up to 80 for uh, posting. That's, you know, that's... Um, I, I usually go a little lower. It increases your success rate. Now, you, you know, you could run two different instances of Scrapebox and do 40 each if you want to go max. Like I said, your success of the blog post is going to be a lot lower. So 20, you know, that's a fourth of my max. That's nice and safe. I should get a very high success rate. Over 50% of my blog posts will stick. All the other stuff is for really for different things. Um, so go ahead and save that. All right, first the names. Click, oh, I'm sorry. Don't click open. Click the E to edit it. Uh, it just depends on what your video is about. You want anchor text for your names. So let's say you're doing a video about Burger King. The names can be like just different variations of Burger King. You know, because these are helpful in getting you ranked. So just make them related. That's not completely necessary, but that's something I like to do. And also, I like to get at least 10 or more, depending on how many blog posts you're going to do. So you can do three or four words if you want. You don't have to, you're not stuck to two. So we'll do that. Then you click Save. Emails. This is easy. Name and email generator. You can also generate the names if you want it, an easier path. Um, generate emails. I'll do 7,777 because I'm a gambler and I like think sevens are good luck. I'm an idiot like that. So generate, transfer to poster's email. So now they're transferred over. Close. Now if you edit, boom. There you go. Uh, if you use, if you do more than one post of this, you want to go ahead and randomize the names, randomize the email lists. Okay, websites. Okay, so I have a folder on my desktop. The websites, these are your auto embeds. So I have a folder that says need GSM blast. Just for example's sake, these are old ones. So if you want to try to take on these, these, uh, these keywords, I'm no longer focusing on these. I just put a bunch of these in here, so I'll have some examples. Okay. 
comments. This is where you want to make a spinnable comment, basically just thanking the person for creating their content on their blog. Uh, you don't want to make it anything too specific, so you're just going to do like... You've never done spinnable content. This is how you do it. Obviously, don't make it exactly like mine. I know there will be at least one idiot out there that does. Not the end of the world if you do. You know, basically, this each time this spins, you'll do a different... The sentence will be a little different. That way, you're getting original content for each of your blog posts. Uh, if you want, you can do multiple of those. You know, so if you wanted to put another one here, we'll just do a quick one. There you go. Now we have two. All right. Okay, we already looked at that. Next, the blogs. This is where your comments are going to be posted. I'm going to link to a blog post where I give you some different options for this. Also, you can scrape the internet with Scrapebox for the list yourself. That's not something I do. If it's something you, you know, if you want to save some money and you don't want to go out and buy an auto-approved list from someone, then you can figure out how to do it yourself. There's plenty of YouTube videos on how you do that. Just not something I'm into. I've tried it before. I put way too much time into it and then get, end up getting very good at it. So I'll, like I said, I'll link to a blog post in the description and I'll go over some of your options as far as uh, the blog posts. Like you can buy an auto approved list on Fiverr for five bucks. Uh, Loopline does monthly subscriptions. There's a lot of different service providers. Um, I have auto approve lists. I'm just going to grab one of mine. That one's 200,000 plus blog comments. So say you have 100 websites that you already put in from your auto embeds. You have 100 auto embeds. Ideally, I like to get 100,000. Try to get 100,000 blog posts. So that way you're getting, you know, 1,000 to each one. Even if you fail and you get 500, this is still going to get your auto embeds indexed. You might wonder why this looks a little different. I'm on a Mac using a VPN to use Scrapebox because, you know, it's just easier to do that instead of trying to get everything working on my Mac. I just, I'll, I'll link to the, uh, to the VPN service I use. But other than that, that, that's how you power up your embeds with Scrapebox. Uh, other ways to get them indexed, like I said, you can always outsource it. You can always go on Fiverr and just, it doesn't even matter what the quality of links. Whenever you're doing auto, powering up auto embeds, buy a million Scrapebox blasts and send it to, you know, 200 of your auto embeds. That's easy. Uh, Scrapebox, you know, it's, it's kind of a pain. Using it for this is not hard, though. You shouldn't have any trouble. Uh, also, to get your, if you don't want to wait to get it indexed with Scrapebox Blast, you can use an indexer like Auto Inject. I, I'm sorry, uh, Index Inject and Omega Indexer. I don't really find that completely necessary. I would just stick with Scrapebox. Uh, Scrapebox or GSA is another one. Uh, I could do a tutorial on that. If someone asks for it, I will. Don't count on it, though, unless unless, <laughs> unless there's really some demand for it. I, you know, these tutorials aren't very fun to make. But that said, this is how you set it up. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And, you know, you're ready to power up those embeds and get this thing rocking and rolling. All right, there you go. Now you have the formula in place to get your YouTube videos to the top of the Google search results. The formula is very simple. Just keep creating more auto embeds and keep powering them up with more and more scrapebox blasts. I'm Sean with SEO Sorcerer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.